So Hiller's subscribers are fantastic, and I know a lot of them have come over here to watch my videos, and I really appreciate all of you. by talking about the biggest thing that has ever happened to my channel. I haven't been doing this very long, only since March of this year, 2022. But Andrew Hiller spotted me during a live stream. So he is a YouTuber himself. Also, he was a CrossFit athlete, or I mean, still kind of is, um, and does a lot of content in the space, talking about what's going on, what needs to change. And he was looking for some last chance qualifier, content and I was doing a live stream about the last chance qualifier with uh, about I guess five people watching. So I clicked on Amanda Hari and I was very much expecting that a user with five live viewers on a YouTube channel with not that many followers subscribers to be doing that kind of thing and I was immediately taken aback by the fact that she seemed to be extremely professional. Within the first minute or two she just kept on going it was like boom 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 and everything that she was saying in relation to her last chance qualifier preview was rather fluid she didn't miss a beat and it actually seemed that she knew what she was talking about and I was like all right who's this girl and why does she only have five live viewers which for me was great I was uh, super happy with that but he was like didn't know what he was gonna get and he really enjoyed my content so he decided to put it in one of his videos and that's why so many of you are probably seeing this video right now so I wanted to say that Hiller has some of the best subscribers in my opinion because they watch a ton of his content like if you look at the amount of subscribers he has compared to the views on his video, it's very good compared to a lot of other content creators out there. So Hiller's subscribers are fantastic and I know a lot of them have come over here to watch my videos and I really appreciate all of you. It means so much to me. So I also wanted to say what you'll be seeing here on my channel. So I do a lot of vlog content. I like to share my training with all of you. I'm more of a normal CrossFitter, not an elite athlete, someone who's kind of obtainable. So if you see me do a workout and you see my score, you might be able to beat it. And that I think is a cool thing to see because a lot of the Scores you see from the elite athletes are just not anything that a lot of us can do. So I think it's kind of cool that you can look at my stuff and do what I'm doing and kind of follow my journey. So I do a lot of that, but then I also love talking about what's going on in the CrossFit space. And that's what I was doing in that last chance qualifier live stream that I was doing when Hiller spotted me. So I like to do some analysis. I like to talk about what's going on. So you'll definitely see that content here too. And I like to highlight some cool events going on in the CrossFit space here in Northern California. One of those will be coming up in a video very soon, so make sure you uh, stay tuned for that. But that's what you're gonna see here. So it's gonna be some different stuff, just all of it's just me sharing my love for CrossFit with the YouTube community here. And I hope you'll continue to enjoy that and uh, support me on this journey here, watch some of my videos. I enjoy having all of you. If you leave a comment, I read them all and try to respond to all of them. So uh, say hi in the comments below if you want. And you'll also probably see my pup Carson who appears in a bunch of these videos as well. So I think he is something fun to stick around for. Also why I created this channel. I feel like there's not as many female content creators in the CrossFit space. There are some, of course, there are definitely exceptions to me saying there's not many, but there's not nearly as many as there are men. There's a lot of men in the CrossFit space, which is awesome. But we just don't have as many women. So I wanted to be a female voice in the CrossFit space and that's what I'm trying to do here. So I hope you guys stick around. You say hi to the vlog. Say hi to the vlog, buddy. Say hi to all the YouTube subscribers. Yeah. All right, see you later, buddy. Life is what you make it. My shit's been amazing. I can't see a way out. I've been stacking face down off canvases. I painted. I just spent the rain day on shit I can't afford. But that's the price I pay for the memories I'm making. I've been going places. I've been shaking hands for a chance to really make it. This life is so abrasive. Swag and just gave it. All this shit I'm laying in. It's only the foundation. I've been going crazy.
finished up some hang cleaning jerks, just some singles. They felt really good at first. I haven't done a lot of hang cleans in my training recently, but they felt really good at first. Got a little heavy near the end. This is only my second full training session back since I was uh, on vacation, and then I caught a cold on vacation. So it's uh, a little bit of a journey back, but pretty good. I'm happy with how I did. Now I've got some front squats. Squatting is my biggest weakness, but we're gonna embrace the front squats, enjoy it, and it's gonna go well. I decided that. push-up hair here but uh, coming off being like a little congested from having a cold made all that upside down stuff very very difficult but always good to get a gymnastic session in uh, just worked on some handstand walks some wall walks and uh, what was the last thing I did oh strict handstand push-ups I like strict handstand push-ups so that went well about to start a workout it is 25 GHDs 25 heavy wall balls four rounds two minute rest in between each round. I don't mind the GHDs, I would do GHDs all day, but the wall balls, the heavy wall ball, definitely not my thing, I'm a shorter athlete, and I'm just not a great squatter. So, it should be fun. At least the GHDs will be fun. So, let's get started, here we go. Cheers to my pets, I'm doing great. Fast over limit on the freeway, hope no cops pass. Had to dip up for a minute, yeah, that's my bad. But I can't stay for too long. I gotta go, I gotta go. I grab my bag and hit the dash. Yeah, adios. I drop the clutch and slam the gas. And it's vomitos. If you're not first and you're in last, Ricky Bobby quote, you gotta know. Work hard, get to. Just finished up all my training. It was a hard training session, very long and a little bit rough after some time off, but good to be back at it. Grateful to be back doing it and working hard. And I'm grateful for all of you guys that have joined me over this last couple of days. I really appreciate all of you. I appreciate Hiller for uh, sharing my stuff because that was huge. And I hope all of you enjoy my stuff over here. There will be more analysis. Uh, I'm going to the game, so a lot of content coming out of that. And there's a big event happening here in NorCal that I hope to be at soon. So make sure you check that out as well. I appreciate and I'm grateful for all of you. Thanks so much.